Hello, can you hear me, guys? Hi, can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Yes, miss. Okay, okay. thank you. Hi, Jose. Hi, Mauricio. How are you? Hi, Juan Carlos. How are you doing? Hello, miss. How is, how is the day going so far? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm very busy. This is week. This is a busy week. I know, <laughs> especially because it's pay week. Everybody's crazy outside. <laughs> I I feel like these days when it's the payday and like two days after the payday, the traffic the traffic is just like chaos everywhere in the city. <laughs> and then let's see. Hi, Carla. How are you? Hi, Carla Sofia. Hi, Jorge, how are you? Hi, Abigail. Can you guys listen to me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, thank you, Juan Carlos. Hi, Dido, how are you? How is it going? Nobody answered. <laughs> Hi, Dido. How are you? Hi. How about you? Doing great. Thank you. Only Juan Carlos and Dido and then Jose has, have responded. The others, I don't know what's going on. Let's see. We have seven people connected. We have Juan Carlos, Carla, Jorge, Jose, Dido, and Abigail. And Mauricio. Hi, Mauricio. How are you? I hadn't seen you. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Mayra. How are you? Good evening. All right, guys, let me ask you, have you heard of um, time? No, expressions of time. Have you heard of the expressions of time? Do you remember having studied that topic, expressions of time in the past? Mm -hmm. Nobody remembers this. <laughs> okay, so let me give you just a reference. Expressions of time can be used in different tenses. There are expressions of time specifically used for each grammar tense. For example, if I'm speaking in simple past, some of the expressions that I can use of time are yesterday, last week, last month, last night, last year, right? In 1998, 10 years ago, right? Those are expressions of time for simple past. But they cannot be used in any other tense. For example, expressions of time in past cannot be used in simple present. And the same goes expressions of time in future. For example, expressions of time in future, we have tomorrow, next week, next Monday, right? Depending. And um, next uh, upcoming right so those are expressions of time in future so as i was telling you every tense present past future they all have their corresponding expressions of time that you can use according on each time okay so we are going to be doing a refresher remember we were talking about trying to review basic topics every night or whenever possible so today we're gonna play Kahoot again. This one is gonna be short. It's not gonna be 10 questions. It's only gonna need to be like six, right? And this one is going to check that, that type of expression, okay? So the instructions, you can scan the QR or you can go to this address, www.kahoot.it. Enter the pin and enter the name that you want to use to play. The link is also on the chat. So let's start going in. And I'll 
also send it. To the other one. I also sent it on WhatsApp in case you need it. It's also in WhatsApp. The link. You can go to triple w that I see, enter the pin, and enter the name that you are going to use to play. Okay, we have three people connected. We're gonna wait at least for eight people. Remember the instructions, you can go to this webpage, www.kahoot.it. When you are in the webpage, you enter the pin in the name, or you can scan the QR code and enter the pin in your name. Okay, we have four people connected. And five people, okay. This review is going to be easy, so let's let's hope everyone can participate we have six people we're gonna give two more minutes to get at least eight people in the game you can scan the qr code or you can go to this web page you also have the link in the zoom chat and in whatsapp chat when you're in the page, enter this pin and enter your name to participate. Okay. All the other participants, you have to connect to the game. We have five people connected in the game. We need at least eight. Let's see. If you need help, let me know. You have to ask for help so I can know. Okay, we have Maida again. We have six. We need two more people connected in the game. Let's see. We are waiting for Carla. We are waiting for Abigail. Carla, Abigail, we're waiting for you. We have Daido there already, yet, And Jorge also there. Okay. All right, so it's eight. Who is connected? <laughs> okay, we're going to begin this part. You're gonna have one minute for each question, okay? And we're talking about basic things again. Okay. These words describe how often an action happens. These type of words describe how often an action happens. Let's see. All right, let's see. Ten seconds. Here I went out. I lose the the key, the, the pin. Oh, the pin is here. One nine nine six eighty nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so yes, correct. Frequency adverb. They are used to describe how often. Am I... All right. Very good. Nice, everyone got it correct. Pero yo siento que si él tuviera alguien conocido que le hiciera sí. algo de esta manera. 
And we have Emerson was the fastest this time. Let's go with number two. Adverbs of frequency go before the verb to be. True or false? Frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency. It's the same. They go before the verb to be, yes or no. True or false? Ten more seconds. We're going to check. <laughs> mm -hmm. The correct answer was false. The frequency adverb, they go after the verb to be, not before. For example, she is always early in the office, right? Is before the verb to be, before the frequency of it. He is always happy. He, um, we are in the class. We are always in the class. We are never late, right? So if you're going to use the verb to be, the frequency adverb goes after the verb to be, right? So in this case, it was false. We're gonna go with the next one. Let's see the scoreboard. How are you going in the first place? And we're going with number three. Adverbs of frequency go after the action verb. True or false? We're not talking the verb to be, we're talking action verb. Okay, 15 more seconds. All right. <laughs> this one was also full. Frequent of, uh, frequency adverbs, they go before the action verb. Some way that you can memorize it, frequency adverbs, they go after the verb to be, but before action verbs, okay? For example, I always tell you to participate. You always participate. My mother never cooks for me. Never is the frequency, cooks is the action verb. My mother never cooks for me. So if it's the verb to be, the frequency adverb goes after. If we're talking action verbs, the frequency adverb goes before, okay? So in this case, it was false. Let's see that scoreboard, very good. How in the first place, Juan Carlos in the second. And let's go with number four. So like the correct sentence. Follow the rule that I told you a moment ago. Remember the rule that I just told you two minutes ago for action verbs.
Yes. <laughs> Mostly got them correct. And I told you, remember the rule that I told you two minutes ago. Frequency adverbs go before action verbs. In this case, Ben and Emma, frequency, often, action verb go before the action verb, right? Often go for lunch together. Perfect, very good. Let's see. How is the scoreboard going to change? Kenya comes from the third place back onto the first, from the third to the first. And then Juan Carlos keeping the second and Abby from the fourth to the third. And let's go with the next question. Question number five. Select the correct sentence. This is the rule for the verb to be that I told you. So you can see adverbs and the verb to be. I told you that three minutes ago. I told you, after the verb to be, you can use frequency adverb. Here, it is with the cat, uh, with the apostrophe. It is usually difficult. Is is my verb to be. Is in usually the frequency adverb after the verb to be. Very good, guys. And let's see the scoreboard. Keeping the same. And we're going with the last question for tonight. This expression is similar to always. One more second. And yay, we got all the same. <laughs> yes. All the time is a time expression. It's not the same as a frequency adverb, but they can they can have the same meaning, right? All the time has the same meaning as always, right? Always is the frequency adverb. All the time is the time expression. Very good. Hmm. Let's see the podium, the final podium for this night. Okay, tonight Abby is in the third place. Juan Carlos in the second place. In the first place, Kenya, very good. <laughs> nice job, guys. We have runners up Emerson and Dino in fourth and fifth place. <laughs> Excellent, I like it. Nice. So now you have refreshed how to use frequency adverbs and expressions of time. As I was mentioning to you before, expressions of time are exclusive for every grammar tense that you speak, right? You have expression, um, you have time expressions for present, time expressions for past, for future, and they are exclusive to each tense, okay? You cannot use them in the opposite, for example. So, oh, wait a moment. I was going to share something with you, but I remember that somebody was asking about the platform earlier today. Um, what exercise was that that they were asking in the were in in WhatsApp? Do you know? One o one o seven. Mm. Okay, thank you. We're gonna check that right now before anything else, because if not, I forget. Just a moment. One seven. 
Let me know if you can see the screen, please. One point seven, right? Yeah, and uh, number two. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys how the platform wants everything to be shown. So you can take you can take a picture or a screen as you prefer, right? So number two, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Yes, I tried to type uh, the in this form and 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 the and platform don't don't yes. And did you follow the capitals and the spaces? All of you. All right. The Maybe. period, the, the end in the sentences, uh, without the period. And... Yeah, it doesn't have. <laughs> um, now, did everybody have the same problem or is just like one or two people having the problem? Did anyone else complete already the, this exercise and didn't have any problem? Teacher. Yeah. I have the same problem with uh, the circle. Okay. Question. All right. Let's do something. Le I was asking for the others, for the ones that have done this exercise and not gotten the problem. Or has everyone gotten the same problem on this one? Because it can be a glitch, right? It can be a glitch in the platform. So, my suggestion. Try to copy and paste as you as you, the way you're seeing this right now here in the screen. Okay, try to copy and paste from here. Just reorder, right? Try to mm -hmm. just try to copy and paste. If that doesn't work, just send me the screen to the group again and I will report it so that they can count it as valid for you guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very Thank good. You. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then. Um, now we're going with the presentation. Just bear with me. Because tonight we're going to talk a little bit about comparatives. Not the common comparatives, right? <laughs> I know you have the normal, um, the non normal additive, and you have a comparative additive and a superlative additive. But within the category of comparative additives, you can use a combination that is called as, as, and not as. We will see them both right now, okay? So I need volunteers to read. Who can help me read this, this slide? I need one volunteer for this one. To read. Jorge Antonio, please read this slide. Okay. Um... We use as plus additive, adverb plus, as to main comparison. comparison <laughs> to make. <laughs> to make, make. comparison <laughs> when the things we are comparing uh, are equal in some way. The world's biggest ball is as big as a small elephant. The weather is summer is as bad as last year. It hasn't stopped raining for weeks. You have to unwrap it as carefully as you can it's quite fragile fragile yes fragile. Mm -hmm. okay so this combination says we use as an additive or adverb and the word as again to express or to make comparisons when two things are equal in some way so it's not to compare it's mostly to express mostly to express that they are equal for example, the world's biggest bull is as a small as a small as is as big as a small elephant, right? Or for example, the weather this summer 2023 is as bad as last year. It hasn't stopped raining for weeks. In our case, it hasn't rained for weeks, right? So the weather this summer is as bad as last year, meaning that is equal, right? As bad as this today is bad is as bad as it was last year, okay? And then the other one, you have to unwrap it. Unwrap it when you open something, right? You have to unwrap it as carefully as you can, meaning as possible. This one is for possibility, okay? It's quite prior. 
let's see. Can you, before we go with this, can you try to make sentences using these comparative word equals? Can you make your own example? I'm going to give you one, for example. Or, yeah, this as an example. I can tell you um, what, well, yeah. English is as difficult as Spanish. English is as difficult as Spanish, okay? Meaning that they are equally difficult. <laughs> my Spanish is bad, my English is better, so <laughs> I can tell you Spanish is difficult, all right? So who can make another sentence? Try to write a sentence. Try to make one sentence in which you use this combination as, adjective as, to express that things are equal. I told you in my sentence, English is as difficult as Spanish, meaning that they are equally difficult, right? As difficult as Spanish. Okay? Try to make one sentence and raise your hand when you have the sentence ready, please. Everyone, you have to write a sentence using this combination to express that something is equal as another thing. And I'll give you two minutes. At 8.30, we can start listening to your sentence. You just have to make one sentence. If you have it already, raise your hand, please. Okay, let me hear your sentences. It's just one sentence, so you shouldn't have taken more time. Let me hear you. Raise your hand if you have the sentence ready, please, so we can listen to you in order. Nobody has the sentence ready? Okay, Abby. Abby, can you read your sentence, please? How many? Right. Just one. Just read. Ah. The, just read the one that you have. Mm. I am as tall as my sister. Yes, that is correct. Thank you. Right, meaning you are equally tall. Juan Carlos, can you read yours, please? The United States is um, as far as Peru. Exactly, very good. Meaning they are equally equally far from us. <laughs> All right, yes. next. Let me hear the others. 
Everyone has to say one sentence. Let me hear the other. And listen, you can use this combination in any context that you want in any scenario, right? Um, like if somebody gives you information that is not useful, you can say that information is as useful as none, right? Like equally not useful, right? Let's see, who else has a sentence ready? Me, teacher. Let me hear it, please. And play football is as difficult as playing basketball. Yes, playing football is as difficult as playing basketball. Very good. What else? Let's see the others. Let me hear the other sentences, please. Jose, do you have your sentence ready? <laughs> Yes, teacher, but it's only as an example. Okay. Mexican food, Mexican food is as good, is as good as Salvadorian food. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a good example. <laughs> only Thank as you. a matter of example, not because yeah. pupusas are the best. <laughs> On Sundays, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. Let's see. Carla, do you have your sentence ready? Carla Sofia, do you have your sentence ready? Mayra, please read your sentence. My nephew has started great time last year. Oh, okay. No, in this case, that's comparative. Comparative meaning that it's comparing this year to last year. This combination, Mayra, a, adjective a, is when we want to express that something is equal to the other. For example, if your nephew has oh, okay. same, the same good grades as the last year, you could say, my nephew has a good grade as the last year, right? Saying that the ones from this year are equally to the ones from last year, okay? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see who else. No, me teacher. Okay. Uh, talking about hot beverage beverages, mm -hmm. uh, tea is as delicious as coffee. Yes, very good. Tea is as delicious as coffee. All right. So. Again, that is just because we want to express equality, right? That something is equal to the other thing. And in this scenario, I'm going to stop sharing this. And I'm going to show you the whiteboard. Just, just as a refresher, really quick, just a moment. Okay. Let me know if you see the whiteboard. Okay, so basically what we have in here, just a, a summary, right? When you use comparative adverbs, you can do it for, like Maida was saying, um, he said, my nephew's grade, or my nephew has better grade this year than last year. That is the first form of comparison, right? The first form of comparison, you're going to use a comparative adjective and then the word done. The rule is that you always, if you're going to use done, you have to compare two different things. Two different things, not equal, different, okay? And this is the perfect example of the first scenario for comparative. Better is the comparative for good. Good, better, the best, right? Better is the comparative. So in this case, he's saying that the, the grades from this year are different than the, the grades from last year. She's comparing, she's expressing a difference. But 
let's make another example. And I can say, my nephew has a good grade this year as last year. In this scenario, when I use as and the adjective in the regular form, and again as, I'm expressing it that they are equal. They are exactly the same from last year. They are as good as the last year, equality, right? So yes, both are comparatives, but you're expressing different things, okay? When you use a comparative adjective and the word done, you're expressing a difference, comparing one difference to the other. When you use a, a regular adjective, and the word as again, you're expressing equality, not difference. Equality. Okay. Is this part clear? I don't hear any answer. Is this part clear? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna finish this section there. One moment. And we're gonna continue showing you the other scenario that we have. Okay, I was telling you this one is when you want to mention things that are equal in some way. Now, the other scenario is for the negative version, okay, which is not a, an adjective. Ask. Okay, and I need two volunteers to read this one. First person is going to read this part, and then the second person can read the last part. Two volunteers to read, please. Raise your hand. Emerson, please help us reading the first part and examples. And we need one more person for the last part. Let's see, one volunteer to read the last part. Jose Bernardo, help us with this section then. Okay, Emerson, please begin. Okay. Not as us. We use not as as to make a comparison between things which aren't equal. It is not as heavy as I thought it would be actually. Rolly hasn't grown as tall as Tony yet. She's not single as lowly as she can. They didn't play as well as they usually do. Thank you. Okay, we can modify not as as by using not quite as or not nearly as. The second race was not quite as easy as the first one. The second race was easy, but the first one was easier. These new shoes are not nearly as comfortable as my old ones. My old shoes are a lot more comfortable than these new shoes. All right. So, again, this one, as, as, using as, adjective as, to express equality, right? Something is equal to the other. And this one, it's, we're expressing is not as similar to the other, right? It's the negative version. For example, it is not as heavy as I thought it would be, right? It is not as heavy as I thought, right? Sorry hasn't grown as tall as Tommy yet, right? She's not singing as loudly as she can. They didn't play as well as they usually do. So it's similar, but in this case, we're gonna express that they are, that things or people are not as equal, right? And you use the same word. You only add the word not at the beginning, right? For example, I am not as tired as I was yesterday at this time, okay? Today, I am not as 
tired as I was yesterday at the same time, okay? Meaning that I'm not equally tired. I am expressing that I am not equally tired as yesterday, okay? My sister is not as tall as my mother. My sister is not as tall as my mother, meaning that my sister is shorter or maybe taller, but it's not as the same, right? Now, there is another option. If I don't want to say not as, adjective as, I can say not quite as, adjective as, or not nearly as, adjective as. It's exactly the same, but these two are more native. This one is like basic, regular, and these two are more native speakers, okay? For example, um, this water, this water is not as cold as the water in the refrigerator, right? Or I can say, this water is not quite as cold as the water in the refrigerator. It's the exact same sentence, okay? And I'm gonna put it here in the chat just for you to see the difference. It's the exact same thing. I can tell you this water is not as cold as the water in the fridge. Okay, that is one. This water is not as cold as the water in the fridge. Or I can tell you this water is not quite as cold as the water in the fridge. Same meaning, I'm telling exactly the same thing. The only thing I'm adding not quite instead of only saying not, right? Or I can say this water is not nearly as cold as the water in the fridge, right? The three sentences, I'm saying exactly the same thing, right? The difference is that the first one is the more basic one and the other two, quite and nearly, not quite and not nearly as, they are more native speakers. They will usually use this one, this type of expression, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna give you guys three minutes to write one sentence. And I want you to do the same. Write it the three forms. Just not as a, not quite as, and not nearly as. Similar to what I just did in the chat, the three examples. Do the same, but with your own example, right? And don't write it in the chat. Just read it to me when you complete it, okay? I'm going to give you guys, well, because it's three times, I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay, this is individual. Every one of you has to create the three sentences, right? The same sentence in the three different ways. Okay, I'm gonna give you five minutes for this one. This is individual, please. One sentence, the three different ways. Write it in your notebook or your cell phones, and then when you have it ready the three times, let me let me hear it. You're trying to read it, okay?
Abigail, please read your sentences. Okay, let's correct it. Um, in the first one, Abby, you don't have to use so much. You only use as old as my system. Say it, please. Only, so I am as old uh -huh. as yes. my sister. Perfect, yes, Abigail, that is the structure, yes. In the second I one? am not as old as my sister. Yes, very good. I am older, my sister. I am older than, than my sister. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you, you I use the comparative. Than. <laughs> yeah, but you use, you, you, you did it correctly. So nice. Now, let's see the others. If you have your sentences ready, let me hear them, please. Mauricio, please help us reading your sentences. Only two sentences. Okay. But it, but it was a matter, but not as much as Emma. Okay. Number two, it doesn't matter, but not as much as the company. Doesn't matter. The place matter in matter, le agregamos la S. The place matters, but yeah. not as much as the company. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Or you, you could say not quite as the company, right? Or not nearly as the company. So okay. you have, okay. just for you to know that you have more options. Okay. 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 Who else? Let me hear the other. Everyone has to participate in this one. I, we need to make sure that you know how to use these structures. Is not the same when the teacher explains and I understand that one thing, but if I can replicate it speaking, that's the real, that's the real learning, right? It's not enough that I understand it. I have to do it verbally if I have to speak it, right? Otherwise, I'm not actually speaking in English. So let me hear the other ones, please. Juan Carlos, please read your sentence. Yeah. My nephew is not as tall as my son. Uh, my car is not as fast as my brother's. My brother's car. And my old computer, oh, my old computer is not nearly fast as my new computer. Ah, uh, near, not nearly uh, as fast. Uh, fast as my new computer. Uh -huh. Not nearly as fast. Ah, tiene que ser dos veces. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. All right. Now, igual que acá, que se vean y está bien, right? So, this one, this one is perfect. You don't have to say my brother's car. You don't need to say the word car. You already mentioned the apostrophe S, meaning possessive noun. So, we, we understand you're talking about his car. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Okay. Well done. Okay. Okay. Let me hear the others, please. Let's check your sentence. What about the others? Let's see. Um, Emerson, did you give me your sentences already? 
I'm missing one, but I have a two. Okay. The first is Mario is not as fluent in English as David. Very good. Um, second, uh, winter in Italy is not as cold as Russia. Okay. And uh, the hot in Sahara Desert is not as warm to Africa. All right, very good. <laughs> Those are good sentences, Amazon. Thank you. Okay. Daira, do you have your sentences ready? Yes, it's Okay. And the first one, a dog is not as strong as a lion. Mm -hmm. The weather is not as bad as yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, Mud is not nearly as hard as it looks. <laughs> Very good. Good sentences. Thank you, Dido. Okay. okay. And as I was telling you guys, you can use these expressions in every context where you feel that you that you can use them, right? Um, for example, if, if someone is telling you, oh, I heard that you were sick. How are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling better. I'm not nearly as bad as I was yesterday, right? You can use it in normal conversation, day-to-day -day conversation. These are expressions that you are going to be using frequently. So it's really important that you make sure that you know how to use them, right? Very good. To the ones that participated already, am I missing anyone? Maida, do you have your sentences ready? Uh, no, teacher, I'm sorry. I just arrived uh, for on okay. my home. All right. Kenya, do you have your sentences ready? Uh, my new earphones are not quite as beautiful the first one. As the first one. As the third one. Mm -hmm. um, Honduras is not as amazing as Mexico. Okay. Mexico. Mm -hmm. Only that, teacher. Okay, Kenya, thank you. Jose Bernardo, read your sentences, please. At this moment, I'm not as good cooker as my sister. Mm -hmm. Hiking is not quite easy, as people say. Mm -hmm. Traveling. Uh, here, sorry, this one not quite as easy as. Mm -hmm. The word as is two times. Okay, See? hiking mm -hmm. is not quite easy quite as, as easy quite as easy as mm -hmm. people says okay mm -hmm. traveling on train is not nearly as, as fast uh -huh. traveling on car correct <laughs> very good nice sentences to say thank you all right guys so the other scenario where we can use this type of comparison as and as as adjective as is also to express possibility, okay? You have them for equality, for differentiation, and now for possibility. And it says, we often use expressions of possibility. Who can help me read this? I need a volunteer to read, please. Let's see. One volunteer to read this book. Jose Romero, please. Ask. As close possibility. We often use expression of possibility or ability after as, as. You can come as soon as possible. Go to as many places as you can. We we got here as fast as we could. Mm -hmm. So you can also use this combination to express with possibility, right? Can you come as soon as possible? You have to go to as many places as you can when while you have money, right? <laughs> we got here as fast as we could, right? So you can also combine this with possibility and you're expressing that, right? As for example, I came here as fast as possible, right? I need you to answer your cell phone as fast as possible, right? As fast as 
right? Or I need you to call me as soon as you can, right? Meaning possibility, as soon as you can, okay? Now that one is less frequently used, but sometimes it happens, it does happen, that, com that com combination, all right? So now I'm gonna share with you the student's manual and, oh no, we had an exercise in here just a moment. I forgot about the exercise. Okay, we have this exercise in here and it says you're going to use either as additive as or you're going to use not as and then as right in the sentences below so we have sentence number one for example i'm going to help you with this one this book is not as exciting as that book okay this book is not as exciting as that book right important you need the as to time okay whether you're speaking in affirmative or in negative, the word as goes through time, right? Let's see number two. What do you answer in number two? Apples are as delicious as pears. As pears. As pears. Yes. <laughs> yes, correct. Number three. She is not as famous as her mother. Correct. She's not as famous as her mother. Like, she's famous, but not as famous as her mother, meaning that her mother is more famous, right? Number four. Kelly is not as generous as her sister. Correct. Number five. Fisher is as tall as Daniel. Exactly, they are equally tall, right? Number C. Yeah. Who wants to do number C? This task is not as difficult as the one before. Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> yes. I am as hungry as you are. Number seven. I am as hungry. You are hungry. I'm hungry too. I am as hungry as you are, right? Number eight. Who wants to do number eight? Let's see. Last year, June was as hot as August. Exactly, right. Last year, June was as hot as August. Number nine. Camila is not friendly as Sophia. Again, please. Camila is not. Camila is as not friendly as Sophia. <laughs> is not as friendly, yeah. Yes. Correct. <laughs> and number 10, Henry is. As lazy as his dad. <laughs> right? Very good. So now we're clear on how we can use and incorporate those expressions in conversation, right? So we're going to go to the student panel and we're going to check the conversation that we had spending from last night. We were only answering, um, we only answered actually the question last night. We only answered these questions from exercise one. But right now, we're going to check the conversation. We have a conversation between Juan and Saul, right? So I need two volunteers, one person for Juan and one person for Saul. Remember, we read it twice. We do two rounds. So the first round, we need volunteers for the first round. Emerson, you can read Juan. And Mayra, you can read Saul, please. We have a reevaluate our re distribution. Reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interested in the purchase our products from retail store as before. The online store is become very popular. 
probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allow us to get our production product in a strategic place of time. The current retail store is not as a strategy, a strategy strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible sellers. Thank you. All right, we're gonna read the same conversation. Second round, round number two, volunteers, please. One volunteer for Juan and one volunteer for Saul. Cesar, help us reading one, please. And Jorge Antonio, help us reading one. I'm sorry, Saul. Cesar is Juan and Jorge, you are Saul. Okay, let's begin. Okay, we have to revaluate, revaluate or distribution option. Consumers are not as interested as purchasing our product from retail store as before. The online stores is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesalers who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allow us to get our products uh, in in strategic place on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it will be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possi possible wholesalers. 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 Yeah. And just for, for in case you need to remember the pronunciation, remember that the word whole. Whole means complete. Whole means complete, right? Or a lot. So wholesaler, same pronunciation. Wholesaler. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have this conversation in here and they are talking about distribution channels, etc. What you are going to do right now is that you are going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to create a conversation. It can be of a random topic. You don't necessarily have to speak about distribution channels in this case, okay? I want you to do it as you can. Um, any topic that you prefer, any context that you prefer, the only requirement, the only requirement is that you incorporate the expression as, adjective as, or not as, as, right? The ones that we just saw a few moments ago. If you can incorporate frequency adverbs or, <laughs> or expressions of time, that's more than perfect, right? Again, remember you are advanced. Uh, you're advanced. You are, yeah, you're almost advanced. You're intermediate four. So remember, don't make short conversations. Try to make a little bit more complex conversations and using comments, make it sound like a real conversation. Don't do questions and answers. Like, um, how are you? Good. I'm not as good as yesterday. Thank you. All right. No, try to make it a conversation. So how are you today? Oh, I'm fine. Well, not as fine as last week when we were on vacation, remember? But and so on. Try to make comments, incorporate extra information so that you sound like you are actually talking to each other, conversating, and not a robotic question answer, question answer. Okay. Again, it's free topic, so you can do any context that you want. Just make sure that you incorporate either expressions of time, frequency address, and the grammar we just review. Not as, as, or as, as, right? The rooms are gonna be open. You're gonna have 15 minutes to create your conversation. Everyone has to participate in the room, okay? You can go into the breakout rooms right now. You can enter the breakout rooms right now. Okay. 
Sí, going to the breakout rooms. Lo voy a decir en español por cualquier caso, si hay interrupciones de señal o algo, necesito que entren a las salas a trabajar con sus compañeros. En mi caso no puedo, teacher, estoy en el trabajo. Eh, José Bernardo eh, o Juan. Juan José, Juan José. Juan José. Ok, no se preocupe, Juan. Eh, ya están dos personas en esa sala. En la sala que necesito que estén, falta Abigail Bonilla, a José Bernardo, ahí lo están esperando. Y Jonathan, si se puede conectar a la sala, estaría bien. Se me confirma. ¿Sí? Si no, igual ya hay dos personas ahí participando. Los demás nos quedamos acá, en lo que regresa. Hello, hello, what happened? Teacher, we need yeah. to share. I'm sorry? We need to share the really? conversation and doesn't oh. it. It's not letting you. <laughs> One moment. All participants. All right, you can you can try right now, please. Okay. Thank you. All right, it's is it letting you share right now? Does it let you share right now? Jose, can you try? Let me see. At the moment, which page is it? Um, it's on page 14, let's see. Yeah, page 14. But you don't have to make it the same. You, you don't have to use it similar. You can do any context. It can be just friends talking, family. It can be anything that you want, not necessarily the topic. The only requisition, the only requirement is that you use the expressions that we saw, not as, as, or as, as, and frequency adverbs, if, if possible, all right? It can be any topic in the conversation that you prefer. Okay. So you can invent it. Yeah. Okay. I will see you okay. in 12 minutes, guys. Okay. Thank you, teacher.
Okay, we're all back to the main session. Let's hear those conversations that you created. The first one is from room number one. And in here we have Jose Bernardo Lopez and Wendy Ramirez. Go ahead, please. You can share the screen if you need to. Jose, Wendy? Okay, miss. Okay, can you see it, Wendy? Yes. Okay. Hey, Wendy, did you notice about what was produced this morning? No, what happened? The product has not as good a, as performance. Sorry, the product has not as good performance as the product produced yesterday. We have to check what is the difference between the production. Uh, good is, but it's not quite as AC as say. If we have to compare the start of the last production with with made you know we has that information yes i do i have it i compare them uh, we have to do tests to know where is the weakness but the tests are not quite as fast as you think so let's start okay let's Let's do it. Just that teacher. All right, very good. I like that you used it more than once, right? You didn't only use it once. Every time you used it more than once. This conversation was a little bit question answer, question answer, but I know it didn't you didn't have enough that much time, right? So for the future, try to make one tip that you can use to make conversation is to include extra comments, right? For example, hey, Wendy, did you notice about what was produced this morning or what happened this morning? And Wendy can add comments, for example, no, actually I came late today, so I don't know, tell me what happened, right? Trying to add extra little pieces of comments, make it a conversation and not only question, answer, question, answer, all right? But okay. very good because you use the grammar, so very good job. Thank you, room number one. Jose Bernardo and Wendy, very good job. Now Thank we're going to listen to room number two. And in here Thank we you. have, okay, Jorge Antonio Sanchez and Jose Romero, please. Okay, teacher, we do it on, on the chat. Uh, okay. What's up? So, All right. Jorge Antonio, are you ready, man? Okay. Okay. Hi Jorge, I live in San, in San Julian. In this moment, it's raining here. Tell me, what about in your place? Hello Jose, I live in Santa Ana. And here is as raining as San Julian. Nice, George. And tell me, what about the weather during all the day in Santa Ana? Well, uh, here in Santa Ana in the morning, was very cold because it was raining in the night, but in the middle in the middle day was very hot, and just now is raining. And what about you? Okay, here in San Julian, in the morning was as cold as Santa Ana. In the middle of the day, the weather was as hot as Santa Ana. At the moment, here in San Julian, is as raining as in Santa Ana. Really? The weather in Santa Ana is as similar as San Julian. Yeah, that's maybe because we because you live close to volcano, and I live in the mountain balsam range, Cordillera Volcanica, teacher, I don't know. Can you help me? I, that's have, why ne I, I have never heard that one. <laughs> okay. Cordillera Volcanica. I think that Cordillera very... del Balsamo, sorry, Cordillera del Balsamo. That's <laughs> why the weather is as similar. 
Okay. That's it all, teacher. All right. Very good. And the word for Cordillera would be rain, volcanic rain. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Just for future volcanic rain. Cordillera volcanic. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. I like that you used uh, several times and you made also comments. It was not question, answer, question, answer. You also included comments to make it sound like a familiar conversation, right? Uh, that might be because you live close to a volcano, right? So that's what makes a conversation. When we don't only question and answer, we actually include extra information, extra comments, right? So very good job, guys. It was a very nice conversation. Okay. So now we're going to listen to room number three. And in here we have... um. Cesar Lemos and Mauricio Velasco. Okay. Hi, Mauricio. Uh, you know something? Our product is very famous in the Salvadorian market. And for that reason, I think that we have to change our distribution channel. Um, what are the distribution channel that we can change? What do you think? Okay, uh, Cesar, I don't, I don't know much at, about this topic, but I have two options, online store or work with a uh, seller. What do you see? Oh, okay. Did I... Uh, but I think that we have a problem because we are new in in the market. But probably the best option is wholesaler. Uh, can you help me to contact some consultant to help us with all this logistic process, please? Yes, of course. Uh, we call a consult and. Uh... Uh, but to guide us. Okay, then uh, I will call you tomorrow to uh, take a decision after to talk with the consultant, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, Bye. see you tomorrow, Mauricio. Good night. Nice job, very fluent conversation. It was a business conversation, very well done. Very well delivered, very fluent. And also you incorporated the grammar that we were looking for. So nice job. Room number three, Cesar and Mauricio. Thank you. Okay. okay. So now we're going to listen to room number four. Here we have Emerson, Ulises, and, well, no, Juan Carlos. Emerson, who did you work with? With Juan Carlos. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. I thought you were, you were busy. Okay, Emerson <laughs> and Juan Carlos. Please. Okay. Hi, Juan Carlos. How's it going? Uh, I'm fine. And you? Uh, did you go on vacation as you want? Well, I am on a great. So, and what did you do the last vacation? Well, I was staying in my home um, because my son was sick. And you? My family and I went to the Santiago Beach to our vacations. Oh, okay. So how do you know if these vacations are as hot as last year? Yes, I noticed when I went to the beach on in vacations. Okay. I hope the next vacation are not as hot as this year. Yes, I agree. If so, it's very good to them to the pital. Okay, that's right. <laughs> All right, thank you, Emerson Juan. Um, this was kind of a short conversation, but I like that you incorporated extra comments to make it more friendly, right, more natural. So again, congratulations, because listen, in real life, when you speak English in real life with native speakers, 
you are not going to have control conversations, right? <laughs> you don't know what you're going to be talking about. So you've got to be ready to improvise, incorporate comments. And the most important thing when you are speaking with native speakers is do not, do not do this. Like, if you do this, like you stay shy, you stay silent, automatically you're telling the other person that you don't know how to speak English, that you forgot or that you are still learning, right? So for, therefore you're not qualified. So the rule, the first rule, don't stop talking. Whenever you're in a conversation, try to make it as fluid as possible, incorporate comments, make you sound friendly, right? So very good job, you delivered that also, guys. Nice. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to listen to room number five. And in room five, we have Dairo Fuentes and I'm not sure, Dairo, Eduardo, and Mayra, or just Dairo and Eduardo. I'm not sure. Who worked with you, Dairo? Or Eduardo, who, who did with you Mayra work with? And okay, so, all right. Oh, so the three of you. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, let's hear the conversation. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I have never gone to the app, Mr. Random, before. So for the reason, I would like to know if uh, you can get a, a really great time with me and Mr. Donu and take advantage of the promotion that we had on September. Honestly, Mr. Donu is as expensive as other place. Moreover, I prefer it eat a healthy food. Signs the donut are fatty food. <laughs> what do you think, Dairo? Yeah, buying donut at Mr. Donut is not as good as at other store. We waste a lot of time waiting. It has long line. Uh, we have a uh, better options. Uh, do you want to eat something else? Honestly, I really want to take advantage of the Mr. Donut because I have never gone before. But I think Mr. Donald is as comfortable as other places. So I really want to take advantage of that. So I just want to, it's just for a month. So I would like to know if you can spend the time with me in that place. Yes. And with that, right, we take advantage of the promotion and hang, hang out with other friends, obviously. <laughs> I will only eat uh, one donut. Yes, why not? All for you, <laughs> my friend Edward. Okay, thank okay. you so much. You can uh, get uh, two donuts for the price of one, so you can eat two donuts. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> we will see the next week to define what day we go. Take care, guys. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Congratulations, guys. That's a nice conversation. You incorporated the structures, the grammar structures that we're looking for. I liked it that you made it very, very easy to, um, to understand for everyone, but also you were being very fluent. It sounded like you were comfortable speaking, right? It didn't sound like you were reading. It sounded like you were actually having a conversation. So very good job with that. Excellent. All right. So now, guys, before I forget, I'm going to take attendance, almost at 10, but anyways, <laughs> please stay here or present. Okay, this is going to be the first of the day. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez. Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. I'm here. Thank you. Eduardo Antonio Magaño. This is me. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Here. Thank you, Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose Cesar Lemo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Juan Carlos Herrera. Here, Thank you, Juan Jose Herrera. Present. Thank you, Carla Sofía Argueta. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Mauricio Antonio Velasco. Present. 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 
Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Okay, so guys, I'm going to share present. Thank you, Wendy. Guys, I'm going to share with you the list. Just I just want you to, to take a look at the list, right? Right now, we are in day five. We should be here, day five, right? Automatically, when the class finishes, the application from Zoom is going to collect all the time that you have been connected per session. So for every class, for every day, we know how long you have been connected in the class, right? Um, in this case, for example, we see Raul Antonio Jordan. He has never connected to any class. So he is showing zero, right? Zero minutes connected, zero minutes connected, right? And we have the time for all of you. So remember, and we have your um, attendance percentage, right? I know today is the fifth class, but remember, you need to reach 80% minimum to pass the next model. So you still have three, uh, four more weeks, right? But just for you to keep that in mind, make your numbers, keep that in mind, make sure to participate so that you can increase your attendance percentage, right? Just for you to be aware of that. So now we're gonna go to the students, my love. And I'm gonna share that thing. And in here, we have this activity, right? Activity number three, building vocabulary. You're going to match the distribution option to the banner, okay? So I'm going to need four volunteers to read. Each person is going to read one of this one, okay? So raise your hand, please, so I can see you. And we're going to read. We need four volunteers to read. You have to read this and then we will discuss which one we belong. Mayra, number one, please. Okay. Uh, Emerson for number two, please. Jorge Antonio for number three, please. And Cesar for number four. Go ahead, Mayra, please. Well, you must pay a wholesaler and retailer commission. This option shall be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. Okay. okay, so it says match the distribution options to the benefits. These are the benefits, right? And then which option is that? It says, while you must pay a wholesaler and retailer a commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. We will check it, don't worry. Number two, let's read, please. Okay. You can stock inventory and fulfill orders yourself or use a fulfillment service to handle your orders. Mm -hmm. Number three. You may have chains or independent retailers sell your product for you. Okay. And number four, please. You can take orders over a toll-free number or website URL you provide on the mail piece, or you can have customer mail order request to you. Request okay. To you. So now we're going to analyze. We have the options online sales. We have catalogs and direct mail. We have retail outlets and wholesalers, okay? So let's go from the last one. You can take orders over a toll free number, okay? Or website address URL that you provide on the mail piece. Or you can have customers mail order requests to you. Okay. Um, I think I think this one is 
catalogs and direct Catalog mail. And direct mail. Especially because it says mail. It doesn't mention anything else, right? So mail, and it's talking about mailing a piece or mailing orders. So probably catalogs and direct mail would be this one, right? Okay, let's read the next one. You may have chains or independent retailers sell your product for you. Who sell it? Mm, let's see. Neither. Independent retailers. It cannot be a wholesaler if it's retail. So that is the retail mm -hmm. outlet. Mm -hmm. The outlet. The outlet. Mm -hmm. Number two. You can stock inventory and fulfill orders yourself, or you can use a fulfillment service to handle your order. Who sell it? I think this one is online sale. All right. Mm -hmm. Online sale. Because sometimes when you sell online, for example, on Amazon, if you are a seller, you will receive the order, you can fulfill it. Uh -huh. Fulfill means mm -hmm. to complete the order. Fulfill means to complete the order, right? You can do it yourself or you can pay Amazon and they will handle the order for you and you only receive the money. <laughs> so yes, that's online sale. And then this one, while you must pay a wholesaler and retailer commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. So I think this one is, to me, this one is wholesaler, right? Because you're paying them a commission, but it's giving you better, better rate, right? lower rate. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you not agree? <laughs> I think we're going to stay with that one. I see your faces. <laughs> All right. So listen, we have a summary here of the topic where we're speaking earlier, right? How to express comparison using as, as, and not as, right? And we have just examples. This part, we're only going to read it. We're not going to review it, explain it, because we already did that in the first hour, right? So I just need three people to read. One person is going to read this part, another person this box, and another person this box. You're only going to read some. Volunteers, please. Okay, Cesar, help us with this section, please. We need another person for this one. Okay, when we compare people, objects, or ideas, and we want to show that they are the same or do something in the same way, we use the form as plus additive adverbs plus as. Okay. All right, Cesar, can you help us with these boxes, please? Okay, getting the right product is an important as getting the right place to sell the product. The company adds as much value to distribution as they can. Mm -hmm. Comparison can also be negative. For example, my distributor are not as fast as the one you partnered with. Uh, the shipment transportation from my distributor is not as effective as shown in their advertising. Advertising. Ad advertising, okay. All right, so this word is comparison. Comparison is another one. <laughs> this one is comparison. Pronunciation, all right? Other than that, very good. Remember, a adjective a is for it to um to show that something is equal to the other, so they are similar, and then not as adjective as is to demonstrate the opposite that something is not as equal or not the same as the other, right? Okay, so we have this example, this exercise here. It says, order the words to make sentences. And we have this one, all right? And it says, if you put it in order, it says retailers help you produce as much profit as wholesalers, okay? Retailers help you produce as much profit as wholesalers. 
Let's go with number two. We have will be delivered as as the payment is received, the shipment soon. How do you put it in order? The shipment will mm -hmm. be delivered as mm -hmm. soon as the payment is received. Yes, that's right. The shipment will be received delivered as soon as the payment is received, right? As soon as the payment is received. Number three, as the storage capacity is as expensive product transportation. How do you put that one in order? Okay. Product and transportation mm -hmm. is as expensive as storage storage capacity. Yes, that is correct, Lyra. Product transportation is as expensive as the storage capacity. They are both expensive, the same, right? Number four, efficient as others. Some channel distribution strategies are not at. Okay, how do you put that one in order? Some channel distribution strategies are not as efficient as others. Yes, yeah, that is correct. Thank you. Some channel distribution strategies are not as efficient as others, right? Not all the same. And number five, we have profitable as. Selling our digital courses is not as through a store distributing them online. How do you put that one in order? Selling our digital schools through a store is not as profitable as distribution them online. Mm, let's change some words again. The digital courses, they cannot be sold through a store. They, because they are digital, they can only be sold online. Let's change it a little bit. Selling our digital courses, next. Sorry? Let's do it again. Vamos a cambiar un poquito esta oración. Lo primero se está bien. Selling our digital courses, y luego? Uh, draw a history? No. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Selling our digital courses is not as as profitable. Mm -hmm. As profitable uh, as as distribution than online. Yeah, I think I think it says. Selling our digital courses, distributing them online is not as profitable as through a store. That's what I think. Because digital courses, you can only sell them or distribute them online, right? You cannot distribute them on a, on a normal, right? because they are not physical, right? That's what I think. All right? So guys, before we go, we have some little reading to do here, okay? I'm gonna share this. Let me know if you can see this uh, page for the reading section. Okay, we're just going to read a little portion of this. Okay, getting distribution for your new product. Okay, this is what we're gonna be reading. I need two people. One person is going to read this part and this part, and then the other person will read this and examples in here until the end. We need two volunteers to read. Emerson, help us with the first part, please, this and this. And we need one more reader. We need one more volunteer. Mayra, you help us from this until the end in here, okay? Emerson, please begin. Grading distribution for use new products. Distribution is critical for every startup. It is also too common 
for a startup with a great product to fold due to the lack of distribution. If your business model is designed to really own distribution partner to deliver your product to the market and you don't have experience building and managing a distribution channel, then take the time to uh, prepare, prepare to, to this task. Your startup's success may depend on it. Remember, success. Success. Mm -hmm. My lovely. A common mistake many, many entrepreneurs make is banking of a specific partner. Oh, wait. one moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Partner, as they create their product, you you hear it all the time on ABC's Shark Tank. I only need to be on QB8. QBC. QBC. Mm -hmm. We need to get into Walmart. If we're in Sephora, will it our numbers? The, the reality of the starship lies is Start that. <laughs> A startup, sorry. Mm -hmm. The startup lie is that most things don't go according to plan. And that means entrepreneurs should, should don't shouldn't in their shouldn't be mm -hmm. the company hopes on a simple distribution partner. The smart move is to create a plan to target multiple distribution partners in multiple areas. Very good, thank you. All right, we will continue checking this, this reading tomorrow. We have a reading comprehension section on this, but for the moment, we're going to stop here, right? So thank you, Emerson and Maya for the reading. I'm going to take attendance for the last time tonight. <laughs> Just make sure to say here or present, okay? Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Dairo Jonathan Fuente. Present. Thank you. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. <clears throat> Present. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, please. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose González. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López. Present. Thank you. Oh, Jose okay. Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemus. Jose Cesar Present, Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Raul Antonio Jordan. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. You can go to sleep, recharge your batteries, and I will see you all tomorrow. Um, today was Jonathan. Um, if you can stay for a few moments, Jonathan, for your assessment. Everyone else, you can go to sleep. Sleep tight, and I will see you all tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Yeah, tomorrow. Good night, Miss. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Good night.